FB will present a special production of Disney's timeless classic, Beauty and the Beast. The proceeds from the production will go toward the school. Joining me this evening is director Ernest Ochoco. Thanks for being here this evening. Hi, Sabrina. It's always good to see you. I know. We just saw each other this past week. I know. We did the song fest mm -hmm. together. Judged it. <laughs> well, you know, what made you or the school actually decide to do Beauty and the Beast and how difficult of a production is this going to be? Well, uh, it was Tony Thompson and uh, I believe uh, FD administration that chose the show and uh, they really wanted to do the show because they knew that it would make an impact on the community in many ways. Um, it would also be very, very good for as far as income is concerned for the theater. They're trying to build a theater. so um, And as far as I know, the theater is going to become very in touch with the community. Uh, so um, they wanted to make sure that that program was, was well funded. And this is a show that could do that. And that's one of the primary reasons. Um, it's a difficult show, uh, as you know, probably, right? <laughs> You've probably seen it on YouTube. Um, it's it's uh, usually a $6 million budget on Broadway. Wow. Yeah, it's huge. The costumes are amazing. The sets are amazing. And you have to have that grandeur in order to make sure that this, this play is successful. And um, and yeah, so we've got a pretty hefty, hefty show on our hands here. Now this is, you know, it's not just for kids, right? No, oh my gosh. Uh, it's a multi-Tony Award winning Broadway show. It's one of the top five musicals of all time and one of the most expensive musicals of all time on Broadway. And uh, it's, it's won Oscars. So, I mean, if it's good enough for Oscar and Tony, the top you know, show, uh, show uh, awards in, in history, then um, it's good enough for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the music is really fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's, it's difficult, and it's, it's beautiful, and it's a joy to watch for anyone. And speaking yeah. of you, you know, you've done a lot of um, productions uh, over the last several years. Why don't you tell us about that? Hmm, where did it begin? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been uh, directing and I've uh, been on stage uh, for about 16 years, actually more like 20 years. I started when I was one, actually. Wow. So my first uh, TV uh, show was uh, on PBS, and I was about six years old singing Angels We Have Heard on High. <laughs> and um, since then, I've been kind of just in the theater and in TV, and I've done some movies. Um, I was able to, to do some stuff on Hollywood. I was very, very fortunate to do that. And uh, I was able to work a little bit in the East Coast, mm -hmm. um, a little bit in New York, and uh, all, over, uh, all over the Asian countries and the Pacific Rim. So. Well, we're so lucky to have you here and inspire a lot of our young actors today. How was uh, the response uh, when it came to the auditions for this play? Well, uh, the response was really amazing. I mean, everybody wants to do a show nowadays in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, and we opened up the entire show to uh, the community. So we have community professionals. We have uh, middle school kids. We have elementary okay. school kids. Um, and we, of course, have the high school uh, students. And just everyone came to audition. It was actually quite phenomenal. We originally had 80 people in the cast. Um, but, you know, there were other things going on, Academy Song Fest, uh, Camp <laughs> Rock, things like that. So we kind of had to spread out the, the resources, and many of them kind of um, distributed themselves mm -hmm. to other shows. So, but, but other than that, we have an extremely strong cast. So, mm -hmm. If you could give us a little bit of who, who are in the, in the cast. cast yeah. uh, we have um, a whole bunch of Father Duenas uh, students. One of our very, very good students, um, great performer, his name is Keith. Um, Keith Elliott, mm -hmm. he plays Gaston. Oh my God, he's an amazing Gaston. The voice is phenomenal. He's 16 years old, and he sounds like he should be doing opera on stage. This guy is phenomenal. Uh, we also have Dre Thompson, super, super de dedicated. He's from Father Duenas, too. He's playing Gaston's side sidekick, uh, LeFou, the funny character. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's so, these two are extremely determined and focused students, and they were off book even before I even asked. Wow. Uh, we, we, practically before we even started, these guys were already off book. That's how dedicated they were. Uh, we also have Christine Palma. You guys might know her. She's um, uh, a phenomenal singer. She's, she was in with, uh, with me in another show called Rent. Mm -hmm. uh, and who else do we have? Mrs. Potts, Lindsay Dodd. She's the conductor right now of the Guam Symphony Chorale. 
uh, Dr. Randall Johnson and his university singers, Max Ronquillo, uh, mm -hmm. orchestral conductor. Uh, he's the only orchestral conductor from Guam that I know of that has, uh, was invited to play at Carnegie Hall. And he was able to do that. So, I mean, it's a stunning cast. How much rehearsal time has gone into putting on the show? Oh, loads and loads. <laughs> About um, uh, eight to ten weeks of rehearsal time, so a lot I, of time. I understand that there may be some special appearances in the production? Uh, I, yes. Can you tell us about that? I might be appearing. <laughs> <laughs> where, where can you purchase tickets? You can purchase tickets at bestseller bookstores. Um, and if they're out, because uh, we're giving them small bunches of tickets at a time, mm -hmm. so we don't waste paper, um, just call Father Duenas at 734-2261, and you can get tickets from there, too. But bestseller will, will continuously have a stream of tickets going in. They may so sell out uh, 50 tickets at a time, but just be patient. It'll keep coming. And of course, uh, when uh, time for the shows? Oh, 7.30 p.m. are the evening shows, uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, we try to get everybody in at 6 or 6.30 because of parking, mm -hmm. right? It's, it can get tight there if, you're not, if, you, if you don't plan ahead. Um, also bring as many people as possible. Children under uh, five and under are free. Um, students are five dollars if you bring your ID with you. You have to have your student ID okay. and uh, general admission is twelve dollars. All right, thank yeah. you so much. Any final comments? Uh, you gotta come, Sabrina. Okay. I'll save you a seat. All right. <laughs> we have about six thousand people coming already. Wow. So um, make sure that you you get there okay. and if you need some help give me a call. You know my number. All righty, thank you so much. Thanks.